I discovered a hidden gem in Milwaukee the other day just by coincidence. It happened as I was walking down Farwell Avenue to my apartment and noticed something I'd never seen before. I saw this building and I thought, that's cool. What's going on in there? So I had to check it out. I walked up to it, I poked my head in and discovered this free contemporary art gallery on Milwaukee's east side. I originally started the gallery basically to serve my community. I was seeing amazing artists in this community that weren't getting opportunities to show at other gal commercial galleries or other institutions in the region. John Riepenhoff saw this once abandoned building reminiscent of Americana drive through car culture and opened a gallery inside it in 2008. A few things stick out about this gallery. Well, actually, I should say don't stick out. There is no outside signage that says the green gallery. There's only a small we're open sign. Driving by, you'd almost think the building is empty and they do barely any marketing. Plus, the gallery is only open from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. By just reducing the amount of clutter and the amount of signage in a space, you can have um, you know, a more intimate uh, experience potentially with, uh, with the art itself. Which is also why you won't find the title, description, or price of the art on the wall. It's all about a subtle aesthetic. The title isn't necessarily uh, part of the physical artwork. The gallery hosts artists and guests from around the world during its roughly dozen yearly exhibits. Outside the gallery, there's something pretty unique. It's a toilet on a tree. The artist calls it a toilet tree. In some ways, it's quite simple that it's like an appropriated toilet strapped to a tree, but in other ways, it's really kind of humorous and profound. It's not part of the gallery, but a part of Sculpture Milwaukee, which Riepenhoff is the executive director of. There are materials that are uh, part of our everyday experience, but at the same time, they're um, reframed in a new environment. Even though I'm doing a story on a contemporary art gallery, I don't always understand contemporary art. The beautiful thing about the Green Gallery is, though, that you can come in here for free to question it and enjoy the art.